Right, welcome back. Um, I'm just going to go through my uh, sensitivity controls again. Um, I've updated it since the last my last video, which was ages ago. Um, so yeah, I've got a uh, an X52 flight stick, um, and what I've done, the only thing I've done, I used to have the pitch and yaw at around 56%, but. Uh, Recently, I've changed it down to eight to make it less wobbly. Um, so if we go to yeah, I've left pitch. I've left. Uh, I've left roll at hundred percent. I like the. I like roll. Uh, so if I go to pitch axis here, as you can see, I don't have anything here. Um, I don't like to use this non-linearity. Um, I just didn't. I really didn't like it. Um, so that is all standard. Um, so get out of there. So the only thing I've changed on my sensitivity is pitch and yaw and the both 8%. Um, so if you're following a plane and you're trying to shoot him and your plane's wobbling all over the place, try lowering this. Um, conversely, the only plane that I use 100% on pitch sensitivity is the P51s. Um, uh, I, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, the P51 it seems to work really nice at 100%, but every other plane I've had, I have them at 8. Um, I'll show you why I don't use non-linearity. Non um, right, if I do this, uh, this is my pitch, obviously. I'm just moving the joystick up and down. Non-linearity, <laughs> um, what it does, it's it's a virtual, it, well, it's, it's a virtual S-curve, so on small movements, it limits the sensitivity. But you'll get to a certain point where it starts to shoot up. And what I found is when I'm holding a turn, I'll be here. And it's, you know, it's a nice smooth action, but you'll get to a certain point and it'll just shoot up. And you and I'm and I felt I was constantly bordering on this sensitivity as opposed to this one. Um so that's why I've never used it. I just don't like it. I don't I think it's awful. Um, so yeah, I haven't changed anything on there. So if we go back to here, the only thing I've changed is 8% yaw and pitch. That's all I've done. Uh, right, another thing that you might notice, I haven't got the mouse. If you look on the top left-hand corner where it says throttle, um, my throttle only goes to 99%. Um, the reason I've done that is, is because I've got a button. If I want to go to web, I hold a button down. Now you can see the webs coming on when I hold the button down. What I found is when I'm flying and if my throttle's at full, I kept going into web when I didn't want to. So I've limited the the axis to stop at 99. That's why I'm always at 99 or 95. Um, and then if I want web, I just hold a button. Um, so I'll show you how that's happened. Controls, uh, where are we? Main axis. So it's here. Um, hold throttle for web, I've got no. Throttle axis, um, that's the right mouse button. That's the button I'm pressing to get 100% throttle. So if I double click on this, um, I have got here uh, maximum value right button. So when I press the right mouse button, it's actually, I've it's there's a button on my, on my throttle stick that I've mapped to a right mouse button, but it's just a button. And I press that and I go to full web. And what I've done here is um, I've fiddled around with the with the multiplier and the correction so that this is this is zero. And when I'm at full, I fiddled with it so that this green box, I think it's probably the correction, moves back just a bit so that it never goes to full. Because if that goes to full when you're flying, it'll go into web automatically. So that's why I've stopped it and then I'm using the mouse button just to go I, I, that that really annoys me um, so yeah so I hold a I've got a button just for for web um, and I think oh there's one more thing isn't there just one more thing Columbo does anybody, does anybody remember Columbo I bet nobody remembers Columbo um, zoom um, if I this happens to all planes with a scope if you press the zoom button it goes into zoom for a split second, but then it just uh, 
bugs out again. But what I've done, I've got uh, on my joystick, I've got a slider with a variable. So I can do a variable zoom like this with a slider. Or I can press a button and zoom into maximum. And what that does is, if you zoom right in and then press the maximum zoom button, it'll go into the scope straight away without without glitching. Um, so that's that's why I that's why I've, I very rarely use the uh, the scope because it, it is really annoying. I don't like it. So yeah, on this on this plane, I use I always use the top scope as well. So can we have a look at that controls? Uh, no, it's camera. Is it camera? I'll have a, I'll, I'll I'll come back. I'll I'll find it. Where is it? Right. So yeah, it's in it's in common controls. Uh, zoom camera. I've got maximum zoom. One button on my joystick and one on my mouse as well for when I'm in the tank, so I can press zoom in the tank. So I've got that, and then I've also got the normal zoom on a axis. So, come to, oh, stop that. So yeah, um, you can set this variable zoom with buttons as well. So if you uh, zoom in a bit, and then you can you can press the button and it, it seems to work properly. But but yeah, the scope doesn't work if you're fully zoomed out for some reason. I don't know why. So you need to be zoomed in and then press the button and you'll get the scope. Um, but with the variable zoom, you can just zoom right in and then you can just use the scope without looking at it, without actually looking through it, which is quite useful. Um, I'll show you on a different vehicle actually. Right, so here I'm in the Otsu. Uh, Key 44 or so with the 40 mils. Um, as before, you can't actually look into the into the zoom scope unless you're fully zoomed in. For some reason, I don't know why. But then again, when you've got the slider, you can just zoom in and just use the scope that way, without actually looking, without actually looking through it. So this this plane is really difficult to uh, aim with in SB. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I do for my zoom. There you go. Alright, I think that's it. I've also got a, a steering wheel for racing games, and I've plugged the uh, the left and right brake and the clutch pedal, but I never. It didn't seem to work very well. But yeah, I've got I've got foot pedals as well. I don't have rudder pedals, but I've got um, steering wheel pedals. Uh, well, that's it. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Really, it's the uh, the main control. These, if you're having trouble shooting stuff try lowering these as I said before I don't use non-linearity um, oh, I said it I said it correct then I don't like using that um, but if you're gonna change anything you can change it here but don't forget you can save um, export to file just save your uh, your control settings somewhere before you start messing because I always uh, mess things up um, but yeah that's it really so uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Bye bye.